Welcome everybody to the Monday Night Raw. Well, after after one of the possibly best pay-per-views we've ever had in this universe, which as it stands, currently has one dislike. To you, good sir, who disliked that great pay-per-view, you are an asshole. Well, tonight, people, main event, Hulk Hogan is back in action. He will be in the main event. Him and Scott Hall will collide again. Fully fit Hogan, ready to go. But kicking things off, people, making his, well, it's his first match on Raw. Oops, nearly threw my mic away there. He is the new television champion. And he is the animal. The proclaimed next big thing. Batista. Well, Shane McMahon, he uh, he didn't go down easily, but he went down. Batista laid that man out. Shane McMahon put up, he tried to put up fight. At one point, we almost thought he was going to catch Batista, but Batista destroyed Shane McMahon last night. Huge spine buster on the outside of the ring before delivering a second Batista bomb. He assaulted Shane McMahon after the match as well. And well, big Batista. He is the new WSW television champion. Hand picked from the WCW power plant by Triple H. And well, this man, he's got future written all over him. He feels like he already owns that ring. Well, I feel sorry for his opponent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> As here comes Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Oh, man. Oh, Brutus. We know he's not afraid to get right in about it, but come on. And Batista just floored him there. Well, that's pretty much how I expected this one to begin. As Batista laying in with some huge shots. As Brutus launched across the ring. And oh, Brutus, man, he is being brutalized. It's big Batista right now. In control. Irish whip off the ropes. Elbows him down. God, Brutus. Feel free to get involved. It's Batista right now. And... Oh! And that was a jackhammer. He just jackhammered. Well, that was a uh, Goldberg's maneuver there. As Batista, oh, thought he was going to go Spinebuster there, but right on the ropes. Batista, man, hitting out with a and oh god. And right back up, man, and Batista with Brutus, the barber beefcake. Batista bomb. It's done. And just like that, Batista lays waste. And Batista standing tall here. 
As wait a minute here and Batista and come on the match is over as Batista laying in with some shots on Brutus here and well big Batista has grabbed a mic here and well what 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 the hell is going on here well, we've got some music playing. Well, Big Batista just grabbed a mic. We we're going to hear this guy actually speak for the first time. And, and what the hell? That's Paul Heyman. What is Paul Heyman? That is the former owner of ECW. And what is Paul Heyman doing on Raw? He's got, he's got a WWF hat on. Well, well, well. I had to see it with my own eyes. Calm down, big man, calm down. So you're the next big thing. Well, the big man. Looking around here, we've never really, we've never heard this man on the mic. As he's, well, he's just kind of looking around right now. Oh, Paul Heyman, uh, do you want to use my mic? <laughs> Listen, kid. I'm out here because I look at you. And they, and I hear Triple H on Nitro saying you're the next big thing. But you see... You're not the next big thing. No, you're not, Batista. He is. Well, as Batista bowing down on, we're going to say that's Paul Heyman. Is watch out, we're starting the ring, and oh, Paul Heyman, Paul Heyman said, and who the hell is? We have a, I know who that is. His name's Brock Lesnar. His name is Brock Lesnar. He's from OVW. He's from our developmental. And would you look at the size of this guy? Is oh god, what a shot that was! Good god! As this big man is. Oh, he's got Batista up on his shoulders! Oh! God, just laid him out! And that is Brock Lesnar! Paul Heyman has brought Brock Lesnar, one of the hottest free agents, to come through OVW as of late. And this man! Oh man, oh man! Well, Paul Heyman said Batista isn't the next big thing. He said he is, and he is Brock Lesnar. And man, oh man, and are we on a collision course? These two rookies, if you will, could be on a collision. Well, people, we are only a couple of weeks away from Backlash and, well, Paul Heyman has just been informed backstage that his client, Brock Lesnar, oh man, apparently we are going to see the full-on wrath of that man. As right now, Harlem Heat, well, they did not have a good night last night. They fell to Kai and Tai. Yet again. And well, the Dudley boys who, of course, did face Harlem Heat at WrestleMania in that ladder match, four teams. They lost their tag titles that night. 
Dudley's decided to use their rematch clause to actually go after Sting and Flair, who they did face last week. And well, that was a losing effort. The Dudley boys now are now going to have to work their way back up to get earn a tag team title shot. And then Harlem Heat, who Harlem Heat are rock bottom right now, man. Good God. Well, Harlem Heat, you better have some momentum on your side. As Owen Boba just caught Booker T. Nice, Booker T. Booker T wrapped up right now. And we're going to have another tag team match tonight because there's going to be a number one contendership match for the WCW Tag Team Championships. Vince McMahon not going to waste any time crowning Says there's two teams that haven't had a shot that deserve a shot. And those two teams are Rhino and Big Show against Kai and Tai. Someone is going to face the Outlaws for the WCW Tag Team Championships. As Bubba Ray Dudley sent over the top rope. As these two teams just need to get a, a win, especially Harlem Heat. Good God, do they need a win, which is going to be hard to do when you get dropped on the outside of the ring like that. Booker T brings him down, drops him on the outside now. Harlem Heat have just been having a, a horrible time as of late. Booker T, yeah, you're going to want to get him back in the ring. You really don't want to lose. Harlem Heat need this. They need this so badly. Big shot there. And Booker T switching out Devon, sending him across the ring. Might look to tag in his brother here, but Devon gets the boot up. Booker T sliding round the back. Some other matches tonight, people. Jericho and Benoit are going to collide tonight. The issues between those two. As, oh, that 110 Street slam there, man. Booker T just saw the opportunity as he is stalking out Devon now. But Devon, out of the bookends, just took Booker T down. And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And Booker T is being stalked out here for Rudy. And oh, Stevie Ray coming right in to break that one up. And Bubba's fed up every time he does a 3D. Someone always interrupts it. Booker T, enough time given there for him to just get that backdrop in. But Bubba returning the favour. Bubba, you're just choking Booker T now.
And right, then comes Stevie Ray. I see the women's champion in action tonight as well. A couple of weeks on match against Sable. Will be coming up. Backlash, of course, a couple of weeks away. Technically happening in the middle of May. <laughs> Could have done like a extra couple of weeks build up to WrestleMania or months or all off. Bubba drop Stevie Ray there right into the cover oh no, wait a minute man and it's Stevie Ray's turn wrong way round but here it comes through me Into the cover, and it looks like Booker T gonna have to break that one up. And oil Devon. Booker T being punished for that one. There's Stevie Ray though. Stevie Ray firing himself back up here. And Stevie Ray with one hell of a leap. And boom! Stevie Ray is feeling rather athletic tonight. And oh man, follows up with a hell of a boot between the eyes. As he is on Devon. Devon though gets the shoulder up. He's all under the shoulders. Devon, though. Nope, Stevie Ray over the back. Into the corner. And, oh, wait a minute. And, okay then, this is what we're doing. There's <laughs> Stevie Ray laying in with some stumps. And Booker T now. And well, this is perfectly legal as long as they keep breaking the, the five count and keep tagging, technically it's completely legal. And Booker T, oh man, that was right in the hip. And Bubba, man, breaking that, he just saw his brother get stomped the living hell out of. And right over the top rope, down to the floor. Well, Stevie Ray and Booker T showing a rather different side to them there as Booker T is staring at Devon. There's all wait a minute, and Devon able to fight back on Booker T here, send him into the corner. And Devon, we've seen him do that before. An elevated neck breaker there. Just planted Booker T. Now back in your corner, you can go. There's Devon now. Devon. Oh, Camel Clutch here locked in. Ah, uh, the camel clutch. I can't remember if I've ever said this in a video before, but when I was a kid and I first started watching wrestling, I the camel clutch, I called it the caramel clutch, which, strangely enough, sounds delicious. As in, in comes Bubba, big shot there. Booker T, though. Booker T, nope, that's Stevie Ray. There. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stevie Ray. Into the corner, big shot on Bubba. And, oh, wait a minute, and Stevie Ray, and it looks like Harlem Heat, man, they are really 
They stomps in the corner, taking the padding. Might be seeing a different side to Harlem Heat here. And sent into the corner, Bubba though. Just grazed him there. Uh, there's more double team here by Harlem Heat. I swear this game's done an update or something. Tag matches haven't have really improved in season three. Tag matches used to be a chore sometimes. And big Bubba there. And Roll gets caught. Booker T planting him on that one. And in case anyone asks, I actually have given them that heat bomb move. They just never seem to do it. I've noticed that with some tag teams. If they've got a tag team finisher, they, they won't go for it. Uh, Stevie Ray. And he's going for his version of that big 110th Street Slam. Booker T delivered one. Stevie Ray just delivered one. Bubba could be down and out right now as Booker T comes in, catches Devon. And oh, he kicked out over. I thought the Harlem Heat were finally going to get a victory there. Harlem Heat need this. I know the Dudleys have had a couple of losses, but only a few weeks ago they were WCW Tag Team Champions. Harlem Heat, man. Constant losses to Kai and Ty. Harlem Heat do need this victory. I say you could say both of them could use it, but my god. He's right into the corner there is oh wait, Bubba. Might be going for a Uranagi there. He's up on his shoulders, going for everyone's second favourite. No! Oh, really exposed turnbuckle there. The exposed steel. Bubba just got dropped right on it. Stevie Ray taking all kinds of shots on Bubba right now who might not know have a clue where he is is no no able to switch out there and all caught with the elbow though and Bubba man that knock on his head as Bubba sent flying to the outside There's the tag to Booker T. Man, Bubba. Maybe could be concussed right now. And oh, what a shot there. He needs to get Bubba back into the ring here as Bubba. And oh, just threw Booker T away. And oh no, not again. Harlem Heat. You lost by count out on Nigel last week. And the referee stopped counting to fix the turnbuckle. And Bubba's shouting at him, count, come on. Eight. Oh, that should be well over by now. Bubba screaming at the referee. And Booker T makes it in on nine. As Bubba thinks he's got it one, he doesn't realise that Booker T's in the ring. And a snap suplex there. The referee is undercover, he must be. How's Bubba hitting right back on to Booker T here? And oh man, locking in the submission here. And Bubba's a big boy. It's a lot of weight going down on your back. And Booker T the way, but he's forced him out of it. And oh man, inverted suplex.
Boba gets the boot up there. Oh, Boba went for another boot. As, oh, wait a minute. And, wrong way round, but there's your heat bomb. Booker, go after Devon. They kicked out of it. Oh, my God. Stevie Ray in rage right back into another cover. And he kicks out again. It's the first time we've seen the heat bomb in this universe. And it didn't even work. As Bubba with a splash in the corner. And Bubba with more elbows. Oh, Devon tagging in. I'm probably just going to dive right in here. Nope. And follows up, man. Big power slam. And the suplex there is Devon all over Stevie Ray right now. As into the call, Devon might be thinking about going for this. Uh, this, uh, yep, this neck breaker maneuver here, Devon, and Devon man connects again. And oh man, just like that. And Devon got the victory. Well, Harlem Heat, we saw an angrier side to them. We saw a couple of 3Ds in this match. We even saw a Heat Bomb, which didn't even work. I actually cannot believe that. I thought for sure Harlem Heat had it won when that landed. But Harlem Heat, man, continue this losing. You could call it a losing streak now because it's just not working for them. The Dudley boys are victorious. They get themselves a win. Get themselves back on track in the tag team division. The same cannot be said for Harlem Heat. Who must just be sitting rock bottom of that division right now. Well, these two have been tag teaming, fighting. It's just been... It's just been a mess between these two. Benoit and Jericho. And well, Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho. Vince McMahon can't be bothered with the infighting. The same thing it could be said on uh, WCW, man. The infighting with certain superstars on both brands. It is just causing mayhem and Benoit and Jericho are two of those people. And well, Vince wants it put to bed. It's as simple as that. And here comes Chris Benoit. Vince McMahon wants this put to bed. It is as simple as that, man. He cannot be bothered with it. Question is, can it be put to bed? I mean, they're fighting, they're feuding. It goes back to the last two seasons, man. They've gone at it and gone at it. And... And, well, wait a minute here in Jericho. And Jericho looks like... And Jericho looks like he's going to meet Benoit on the ramp here. And Benoit... Right into the barrier there. Is grabbing a hold of him. Trying to grab the arm. But it looks like Jericho's trying to actually fight back out of it. And Jericho back out of it there. Is, oh, Jericho! And Jericho! He's trying to lock in the walls of Jericho on the outside. He's got it locked in. But look at Benoit forcing his way out of it.
And Benoit! And Benoit with a cross face! And a cross face locked in now! And oh, Jericho! Jericho right over it! Oh, Jericho takes down Benoit! And Walls of Jericho locked in again! It's Benoit forcing his way out! And these two, it's Benoit quickly throwing them away! Is the referee telling these guys to get into the ring here? It's all gone over the barrier! He comes right back over. Benoit though, into the steel steps. As Jericho. And, oh, wait a minute. And Jericho. And Jericho putting him back into the ring. And, and oh, wait a minute. And Jericho. He might be thinking. I think he's looking for another walls here. Is Benoit. Benoit pushes him off. Benoit takes him down! He takes him down again! He takes him down again! As he's holding on for dear life as Jericho! And Jericho rolls out of it! And Benoit and Jericho man is... Across the ring here! And oh! Oh! Oh, wait a minute, Chris Jericho now, Jericho, and a lion soul! It's Jericho, man. And Jericho looking at Benoit here. And look at Jericho, trash talking him. We're supposed to have a match, but the referee ain't calling no bell. Oh man, well, he's wanting him on his feet again. Because I think the referees gave up on this one. Oh god, here he goes again! Cross face! Cross face locked in! Cross face locked in is Jericho! Jericho with a right hand there. As Jericho. Throws Ben while referee's actually trying to split them up right now, but it ain't happening. It's Jericho! And a step up in security! It's, and Jericho now is going for the walls of Jericho again! Ben was locked in! Ben was locked in! Then the oh, Ben was tapping! And the referee! Is trying to pull them apart here. The match never begun. This match never begun. It's Benoit, man. Jericho and Benoit just reversing and reversing. The walls of Jericho into the cross face, into the walls, into the cross face. And then brawling in the ring. Jericho locked in a walls, Benoit fine as Benoit rolls out the ring. Well, Jericho's celebrating, but the referee never rang the bell for this match. This match never began. But Chris Jericho, man, he got Benoit to tap. Oh, God, these two. I think it's safe to say the tag team is no more. Well, Sting, Sting, and we're going to say Sting and Ric Flair are both out here right now. The WWF Tag Team Champions have been since the Royal Rumble. Well, everyone, me and Flair, the unlikely duel, you better believe it, we, we both fight for WCW. Now, I'm not going to lie, me and Flair have went through the World Wrestling Federation's Tag Team Division. And I've got to be honest, but we expected a lot more. Not to say the Hardy Boys, the Dudley Boys didn't give us good fights. Hell, Jericho and Benoit gave us a good fight. Hell, Rhino and Big Show gave us a good fight. 
but they couldn't get it done. So it's safe to say, and I think you World Wrestling Federation fans here, you can look to your WCW counterparts and you can admit to them that we ain't ever falling to anyone. Oh, wait a minute. And Sting. What did the Brothers of Destruction say? What did they say a couple of weeks ago? He said you might not see him, but when he is needed, when they are needed, they will remember and remind people whose yard it is. And I think Sting and Flair might just have bitten off more they can chew. I think you can put two and two together and imagine Kane's here too. Oh, so you think, you think you've defeated all the teams? Because by my recollection, you haven't beaten the Brothers of Destruction. Well, look who it is. You know, there was a point not too long ago where I looked at you and I used to think, what would happen? What would happen if the the crow sting met the dead man? Yeah, well, by the looks of it, both of us aren't exactly rolling that way anymore. But one thing is for damn sure, you and Flair are holding property of the World Wrestling Federation. You're holding my yard. You know what? Me and Flair ain't backing down, dead man. You and Kane, I've never faced you, I've never fought you. But believe me, you want to go. We ain't backing down. That's why we gave the Dudleys our match last week. Anyone wants it, they can come and get it. Well, good then, because Backlash is two weeks away and I see Sting and Ric Flair put up the WWF Tag Team Championships on the line against the Brothers of Destruction. That sounds good to me, dead man. Me and Rick, we ain't been falling to no one and we've been making everyone tap. I'm curious if the two toughest sons of a bitches in the WWF, I wonder if we can make you tap. You worry about making us tap as I'm going to make you bleed, boy. Well, I guess it's on then. Backlash. Sting and Flair. Undertaker and Kane. And I'll remind you, whether it's a WWF ring, whether it's a WCW ring, no matter what, the squared circle, no matter where it is, it's my yard. And I think we've got a tag team title match, people. Sting and Flair, Undertaker and Kane. Backlash, people. And that is a very different team. Sting and Flair are going up against. From a game standpoint, they have those submissions. But Undertaker and Kane are a different level. Well, we got singles action here. Making his way to the ring. Conan and Edge are going to collide after weeks of attacking by Conan. Not anymore. Him and Edge are going to collide. Edge, of course, who lost the Intercontinental Championship last night. Vince McMahon not too happy at that as he, def he defended it at a WCW event. 
which he did not have to do. And well, and well, Edge and Conan, Conan, who since the night after WrestleMania, when he attacked Edge, he's got involved in his matches. He was at ringside last night. WCW referee definitely played a part last night, that's for damn sure. Right, so here we go then, Edge and Conan finally colliding. Ooh. Oh, neat, sorry, a little sneeze there, managed to hold it in. Well, Conan, I think this is the first time we've actually seen him back in ring action. Former champion in his own right. The leader of the filthy animals in the old universe. Or the old season, I should say. And... And wait a minute... And well, there's the new Intercontinental Champion, there's Scott Steiner. And what is Scott Steiner doing out here? Is Scott Steiner, is Conan rolling up edge here? Only a one count there though. As Conan. Conan fighting back here on Edge. As Edge needs to try and get back into it, but well, the Intercontinental Champion, Scott Steiner. Well, he is out here, watch out. It. Oh, just took out the knee there, man. Bang. Edge, swing and a miss. Gets up behind Conan here. And they are one there. Conan getting the shoulder up. And a knee right in the back. Went for a right there, might have taken too long as Conan back with a right of his own. Conan with a Manhattan drop. Conan grabbing a handful of the face here. Conan in the corner here, we've seen them coming before with this, just two cage out. That might do it. Leg is hooked. And Edge is still in it. We've seen the lengths that Conan can go to in the past. The things he can do. 
As he's got him up here, Edge, though, out of it. And Edge grabs Conan. And oh, there's the execution. And right into the cover on Conan here. And Edge just caught him, man, just like that. And Conan got caught out. And man, oh man, just like that. Edge, man, he's one of the guys. He always pulls the one out, doesn't he? He's right here, man. Conan scooped him up. He need him right in the dome. And Edge. Well, he gets a bit of revenge on Conan. Well, Edge looking at Scott Steiner. And well, Edge, as we're going to fast forward, see commercial break, it comes back backstage. As Vince McMahon sees Scott Steiner, he sees Edge and Conan. And he's been talking to Shane about the infighting of Benoit Jericho and thinks infighting, that could be the plan. Backlash. Edge will get his rematch for the Intercontinental Championship against Scott Steiner. As Vince McMahon puts a little smirk in his face and a glint in his eye and goes, and I'm going to put Conan in that match as well. Vince McMahon is going to try and cause infighting in WCW. Well, let's get the ladies out here, mainly the women's champion, the lovely Lita. Well, a backlash pay-per-view is starting to pick up, that's for damn sure. As well, Lita, who will defend against Sable at backlash in two weeks. Well, Lita was at ringside last night with the Hardy Boys. As the Outlaws picked up those tag team championships. Sable did play a small part in that match, getting the attention of the Hardy Boys. And well, here comes Jackie. And well, she's not alone, Sable. Well, Sable's at ringside here, watching on as Lita. Lita goes behind here on Jacqueline. As well, take nothing away from Jackie. We've seen some performances from her over the over the years. And, oh, big flapjack there. into the corner Jackie hitting her own legs there as Lita man takes her down as Lita nope nope got caught there sent into the corner Jacqueline this time gets up try to get that monkey flip didn't, didn't manage to get it the last time and Jackie now 
Slowing it down. Lita back into the ring here. No, Lita just caught Jackie there in a twist of fate, man. No time wasted. Right into the cover. And oh, man. Well, I think Lita really thought that was going to do it. And oh, man. Well, she's going for this stuff pretty early on here. She got that twist of fate out of nowhere. And Lita now looking for that Lita salt. And it connects. Leg hooked on Jacqueline. And just like that. Well, Sable, I hope you're ready. Well, Vince McMahon decided not to waste any time here. Number one contenders for the WCW Tag Team Championships are going to be decided tonight. The next WCW pay-per-view, you're talking about a good month away. That will be the Slamboree. Man, WCW had some terrible names for their pay-per-views, didn't they? And well, Kai and Ty, the fans have demanded it. They deserve a shot at the tag titles, but so do the other teams. So Kai and Ty want it, they've got to earn it, but can they get it done when it truly matters? <laughs> they can win nothing tag team matches. And they did win at the pay-per-view though, is that a sign of things? And, and well, Rhino and Big Show. They've had a little undefeated streak on the go themselves. The New Age Outlaws are going to have opponents. Well, actually, that's not true. It could be the New Age Outlaws. It might not necessarily be the New Age Outlaws. Because over on Nitro tonight, the Hardy Boys are getting their rematch for the WSW Tag Team Championship. So we could end up with infighting here. Vince McMahon could actually be making a huge mistake. I just realised that that I've actually got the, the rematch booked. Outlaw's title run could be a 24-hour title run. I mean, let's face it, a lot of these title belts are like hot potatoes right now, especially we're having near enough a pay-per-view every two weeks. All right, Kai and Ty, let's see what you can do. Went for a slap, <laughs> and Rhino just grabs them. If Kai and Ty pull this off, then I firmly believe they can do it. I want to see Big Show. If Funaki pins the Big Show in this match, then I believe anything can happen. Although in this universe, we have seen anything happen at times. We have seen all kinds of weirdness happen. Don't forget, people, main event tonight. Hulk Hogan is back. He is fit and ready to go. And there's a big back body drop there. And man, would you look at the size of the big show compared to Taka. If he ends up body slamming him or something, the game's supposed to have physics so that doesn't happen. As picks him up here, Taka catches him with a quick jawbreaker there. And a shot to the back of the head here is Taka. Where's he going with him? He's trying to shove Big Show into the corner, but Big Show hitting back with shots to the midsection. I mean, this should be short and sweet realistically. Big Show should just be dropping these two. But we've seen that Taka and, and oh no, he jumps! Hot tanks Funaki! To just drop kicks down the big show! And he got caught. And oh big show!
And, whoa, a small... Man, no offence, but there's zero chance Funaki is kicking out of that. If Big Show was to wrap his body around you in a small package, you are not kicking out, especially if you're the size of Funaki. No chance. That is the equivalent of me doing a small package to, like, a 10-year-old. There's no chance you're getting out of it. And, oh, wait a minute. Oh, double Northern Lights! And Taka, you actually... Oh, man, right on the arm. That knee shot there. Oh, wait a minute. Funaki. Big Show's getting it taken to him, by the way. And oh, man. Oh, God, man. He was right back up there, didn't he? He just lets Funaki come right. Funaki. Fisherman suplex. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Big Show being embarrassed. Tagging Rhino. Oh, Big Show looks like he might be a little annoyed now. Big Show, man, just laying in on Funaki now. As, oh, Funaki arm drags the Big Show down. And oh, roundhouse. As Funaki. And Big Show. Oh, Big Show, man. This is really not panning out for you right now. And Oh, man. There's no way that wouldn't be an instant tap. Just the size. No chance. And Funaki able to slide out of it. It's Funaki behind. Falling reverse DDT. Oh, Funaki. Pointing up high. And Funaki is fired up. Would you look at him go? Big Show, sure you need to tag out, man. And oh, he's going again! Fisherman suplex! Big Show's been manhandled by Kai and Tai. And oh my god. The power of Funaki Mania is running wild right now. Funaki, going for that tornado DDT! As he hooks the leg. You're all right, oh man. He is coming right in to break that up. Don't blame him. And Big Show. Come on, you got to tag. You're right there. Just tag him in. <laughs> Rhino was... The no, Big Show's pissed. And Big Show's had enough. And he's got Funaki by the throat. And Big Show with the showstopper choke slam. And just like that, Big Show had enough. But Taka, Taka breaks the pin. And oh god, down goes Taka. There's Big Show. Pulling Funaki up to his feet here. And oh, Funaki! You don't have your partner, Funaki. And 
Funaki sends it with the corner. No. And right back to Rhino. And there's the tag, finally. As Rhino comes in now. And Funaki just launched to the outside. And we saw Big Show and Rhino beat Harlem Heat by count out. And oh, bad Funaki just gets smacked down. Oh, Funaki! And up, here we go. Big Show and Rhino took a count out last week. Would it really be unthinkable to think they would do it again? Now nah, we're back in the ring. I was actually going to let that go there. See what happened. Funaki snuck in. He might have got the count out. And oh, what a right hand. And well, Rhino watching the Big Show get, well, manhandled. Apparently Rhino in no mood for that. Eyes on Funaki just get caught, man. That belly to belly. Just threw him down there. As Funaki, man, it's as if these two can take so much damage and it has no effect. Funaki! Fisherman suplex! Funaki's busted open. He drops a knee on Rhino. It's Funaki though into the corner. Rhino pushes him off. And oh, Taka! Taka pulled his leg. Funaki sends him over there. Funaki shouting at him. As he comes back in, straight to the corner. And Funaki is going up to Nado Dini Kintyre, dominating this match. Leg hooked. I don't see Big Show. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Amber. As Rhino plants some man, big DDT there. As Aubrey jumps up, hot tags Taka! And oh, Taka! Oh, that didn't work. And Rhino just got busted open there, and he didn't like that one, but Taka's back on him again! Taka! Oh, Taka! It's gone, wrapped up! Wrapped up here, Rhino! There's no way Rhino taps! There's no way Rhino taps! Oh my god! <laughs> Kai and Tai done it! Kai and Tai will go to WCW's Slambo to challenge for the Tag Team Championships. <laughs> Something for you to look forward to there. And Taka and Funaki have actually done it. They are number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships. How in the hell has Kai and Tai became this? <laughs> oh my god. No matter what, they just seem to do it. They don't even have good overalls. <laughs> I don't know how they're doing it. Right, right, wait a minute. No, what the hell is going on? The Godfather's out here. Right, this is just getting more and more confusing every week. Even the crowd, they're like, what, how do you react?
Yo, yo, my people! Are there any pimps up in this house? Oh, yeah, I know I'm not the only one. Oh, yeah, you look at him go, dragging his nuts across the ring. Man, oh, man. Well, I just spoke to Vince McMahon, and he has informed me that at Backlash, he is granting the Godfather a match with Test for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Can you believe it? The Godfather, me, I'm gonna challenge for the WWF title, man. I couldn't have done it without all you pimps in this place. Now, Test, I said there was no hard feelings. We had that tag team match last week, man. We dominated in that match. I like to think that's what got fell. Oh, God, my nuts are so itchy. I'm just going to drag them over the ring even more. But, oh, man, backlash. Me and Test, I know me and you. We are friends, and we are going to tear that house down together. And, well, uh, here comes the World Wrestling Federation Champion. Test with the number one contender, Godfather. Wow, if you are new to my universe, you are going to be so confused. You, know, you literally need to go back to know how this happened. <laughs> the build for these two has been unbelievable. <laughs> when, like, separately built to how they've became main eventers. No one, neither one of them was planned. If you watched from season one, you know for a fact I did not plan on these two ever being in the main event. <laughs> And well, Test is out here, and well, he's putting his eyes, looking at Godfather. Test just doesn't know. How we dominated last week? You mean how you tagged in, won the match, and then dropped me on my ass? Man, what are you talking about, Test? Look told you, bygones are bygones, my man. And at Backlash, we're going to have ourselves a ball. Yeah, but who am I facing at Backlash? Am I facing the pimp, the godfather? Or am I facing this demon from hell that you've brought with you? Man, what the hell you been smoking? Can I smell something on you? What the hell is that? What the hell are you talking about, demons? Man, I'm the godfather. I am the P-I-M-P. And a man standing right in front of you. I am the godfather. God, my nuts are still annoying me. Must have stuck them in a dirty hole. Man, look. You want the match? Fine. I don't give a crap. Be fair, I saw it coming. Me and you at Backlash, fine. But I'll warn you, man. No more holding back. You come out as that thing again. I'm taking your head off. What thing are you talking about, man? What is wrong with you, Test? Look, we're going to have fun, man. We're going to have a party. Backlash, man. Me and you. And when it's all said and done, may the best man win. God, my nuts. And wait a minute. And, oh, Test! And Test shouting at him, the dark waking you up. Is, and Godfather. Godfather's like, what are you doing, man? Test is going after Godfather's like, what the hell? And Test is... I think Test has had enough of this. As he's like, come on, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? It's, oh, he's right on him here. He's right on him in the corner. He's holding his legs. What are you doing, man? It's Godfather spins him around. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. The lights went out. And, oh, oh, watch out. Watch out. And, oh, he's got him on the shoulders. Godfather. And the lights went out. And, oh. And, what the hell, man? And... 
Godfather was trying to stay away from Test after Test struck him and the lights went out and just like that there he is this demonic Godfather and man he just looks insane and what the hell man that was the lights went out they came back up and he had changed just like that Well, main event time. I'm not going to lie, apart from me wishes I'd actually done that little Test Godfather thing as the main event now. But I didn't expect Test to strike him, which then gave me the idea to do that. So it just became the perfect thing that could have ended the show. Damn it. Oh, well. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash coming out here. We can now tell you people, Backlash, it is official. The Outsiders, Hall and Nash, will meet Rock and Hogan. That Backlash, man, they will collide. Backlash is very quickly becoming a hell of a, an event with the, the things that have been lined up already. I mean, Undertaker and Kane challenging Sting and Flair for the tag titles. We know Lita and Sable are going to go at it. The return of Sable to the ring. Scott Steiner, Edge and Conan in a triple threat match. I can tell you that Eddie Guerrero and British Bulldog, they are going to meet in a WrestleMania rematch. We now know that Test and Godfather, or whatever the hell he is, is going to go at it for the world title. And now we know the Outsiders versus Rock and Hogan. Man, Backlash could give Spring Stampede a run for its money. And here comes Hogan, back to the ring. The bandages are off. He's ready to go. And his opponent, accompanied by the Rock from Venice Beach. Oh, Hogan, man, he's had a bit of a break. Got an extra knee brace because, well, that's what happened. To Hogan. Hogan's knees are starting to F U C K E D. <laughs> And well, the people's champion, the rock, the people's champion. As well, Hogan. Back to in ring action. And Hogan ready to go. It's a WrestleMania rematch as Hogan just went right for him. No time wasted. And over the ropes, man. Down to the floor. Hulk Hogan is back. The bandages are off. He is ready to go. He went into WrestleMania. Hurt. He was hurt for months, man. The midsection took some serious damage. As you can see, Scott Hall straight away slamming him into the mats on the outside. But Hogan, man, no selling it. Like, only Hogan knows how. He no sells everything. As Hall right off the apron. As Hogan in, oh, got caught with that back elbow there. Scott Hall, man, right on him. And Hogan with the backbreaker there and just pushing down on it. Somehow ducked that. 
And Hogan. Oh, man. Big Lou, though, press there. Laying in with the right hands. Just pounding that head. And oh, Hogan, man, those ribs ain't hurting no more. And oh, look at Nash. Kevin Nash has Scott Hall right up the back of him there. And down to the outside. And look at Hall, man, pointing at Nash, who puts a steel chair into the ring. Scott Hall getting him back in here. Result Hogan straight back up to his feet. Hall though sends him to the corner. Caught with a back elbow there. And oh, rake to the eyes. Close lines him down. And Hogan knows how to play dirty. As Hall into the corner. Oh god, fails again. Went for a jab, didn't connect as Hall though with the right hand. And oh Hogan not going down. And the referee getting rid of that steel chair, thankfully. Hall though uses that bottom rope to his advantage. As Hogan right into the midsection. As Hall bust out there. Oh man, a shot right in the ribs there. And a choke slam, and he punched them right in the midsection. And that choke slam is Scott Hall, man. Is Hogan 100%? Maybe not. Maybe he's not 100%. Because he's up on the shoulders of Scott Hall. And Hall with the outsider's edge. And just like that, maybe Hogan isn't 100%. Maybe he is not. All there and oh, with a shoulder up. And Scott Hall must be thinking, what the hell? It's, oh, and Hogan's hulking up. And Hogan, man, fired up after all of that. As Hogan, oh, with a back suplex there. And look at Nash yet again. And Scott Hall. And oh, look at Hall. And oh, wait a minute. And Rock. Rock going round the ring here. And Rock has had enough of Kevin Nash. He has had enough here. There's an old Kevin Nash. There's a huge slam there by Hulk Hogan. But Scott Hall will get out here as Nash into the apron. And into the steel steps. As The Rock had enough of that one. As Hogan... And Hogan, oh, huge scoop slam. And Hogan, off the ropes, drops the leg. Not once, but twice. And in the cover is Nash is screaming at the referee. And oh, oh my God. And the Rock's trying to cheer on Hogan here. Come on. And oh, but look at Scott Hall. He takes advantage right into the corner. And Scott Hall with the right hand.
And and look at Nash. And the Rock and Hall are arguing. It's oh man. Oh man. And look at Rock. And Rock's got the referee. After Kevin Nash put his hands on Hogan. And Hogan. Not getting caught in that outsider's edge. But still an oh, Scott Hall. And oh, Hogan. But Scott Hall's down again. And look at these shots by Scott Hall. Oh, you can get your ass in there as well. And The Rock putting Scott Hall back in the ring. It's The Rock. And well, Scott Hall didn't like having hands put on him, did he? It's Hogan, though. And Hogan right up behind Scott Hall here. And taking him down to his knees here with that grip on the shoulder blades. And Hogan, what are you waiting for, my man? Hogan, man, what are you doing? And oh, Hogan. Big Irish whip come back for the elbow. And Hogan off the ropes. Drops the leg. Hooks the leg of Scott Hall. Oh! My God. And Scott Hall and Hogan, so much history in this universe. <laughs> Look at that right there. Look at Rock. Egging him on right in the face of Scott Hall. And Scott Hall, though. And well, The Rock and Hall are arguing here. Is Hogan able to get back into the ring? And Hogan drops him. And a little distraction by The Rock there. Just enough as he drops a knee. Hey, maybe the knee's going to outdo the leg. Knee drop instead of a leg drop. Oh, big shot there by Hogan. A big shot to the back here. You can see Hogan giving it his all. Scott Hall, though, switches it out. And oh, what a slap that was. As Hogan. Oh, man. That was right in the nose. It's Hogan now, man, with these brushing blows. As Hogan. His WrestleMania match, I was rude. Oh, wait a minute. Hogan drops the leg. Drops another. And look at Rock. He's not letting Kevin Nash get in the way here, is he? Rock goes right after him. Leg hooked. And that's the three count. My God, five leg drops. It's just like the stunner. <laughs> it's just happening. All right, here it looked like Hogan maybe wasn't fit. Maybe he wasn't all there. And then Hogan dropped the legs, but Scott Hall kicked out. Not once, but twice he kicked out. And the Rock ended up getting involved after Kevin Nash's constant involvement. And Hulk Hogan, man, gets the win he truly wanted at WrestleMania. Not a DQ win. 
The Rock, man, he didn't hesitate to go after. Look at that on the outside. Kevin Ash back on his feet. The Rock knew Nash was going to get involved there, so he made sure that wasn't going to be a factor. Well, people, Hulk Hogan is back. Back in action. And victorious. Got the win. The win that he felt he should have had at WrestleMania. Of course, winning at WrestleMania over Scott Hall in what turned out to be a DQ. Scott Hall could not keep Hogan down. He couldn't keep him down tonight. Rock and Hogan, man, they'll meet Hall and Nash at Backlash. But tonight, Hulk Hogan was back in action. And Hulk Hogan was victorious. Like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. And I will see you in the next episode.